Hello, today we will learn about an ordered map in C++ and how it is different from a map in C++. So map basically stores an elements in ordered fashion. It underlying data structure is balanced binary tree and so it stores all the elements in some ordering. Okay, but in an ordered map, the elements are unordered. There is no ordering that's defined. That's because an ordered map uses hash table in which there is a key and value pairs and uh, the key has to be a hashable type uh, what I mean by hashable type is that you get a hash of that key and that hash would be then indexed into that hash table so that has to be a hashable type if the if your key is not in hashable type then it would not be getting indexed in the hash table so that's why it's very important so like as you can see in another unordered map we have taken string as a key and this second will become the uh, int, uh, integer will become the value and string will be our uh, key so what we have taken we are i'm what i'm doing is that i'm doing a student i've taken an ordered map in which i will store a student grades so student the key will be student name and the grades will be uh a value okay so there are ways to store these key and value pairs in an all ordered map so let's uh, understand about the first way so this is an unordered map and now we can store we can use an initializer list to store the key and value pairs while we are in initializing the unordered map so here it goes so like here just have an uh, initializer list and that just give a key and value pair so first say my student is foo and the grade is nine now the second pair the student is bar and the grade is say 10 and let's say my third student is say a b c and the grade is seven so this become an unordered uh, map with these following pairs of key and value pairs okay so let's say how we can iterate over the students and uh, st student grade unordered map and uh, find out what all key and value pairs are there okay so for that let's first take an iterator so we'll take an iterator we'll get an iterator so here iterator and let's take it it okay and uh, let's initialize it here with uh, an iterator to a first element first pair okay and now we can iterate it using for loop so initializing initializing part i've already done above so i, I skip this and i'll just write a condition here that it should not be equal to student grades dot n and it plus plus so it will just iterate over all the pairs in a map in an unordered map and uh, this way we can iterate over an ordered map so let's see so here the name equals and here how we can access so iterator and this iterator is pointing to a pair so what what uh, what object it 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 points to it's a pair okay so and that pair has two elements first and second so first refer to the key and the second will be referred to the value so value here is great equal to second So it iterator is pointing to a first pair, which is a key value. The first is the name, the the key, and the second is having the value, the grades or the value. Okay. So now let's compile and see its behavior. So here we compile it and we run it. So now you can see that all the elements all the key and value pairs are being printed over here so whatever we initialized using the initializer list has been printed but now sometimes we need that we want to insert some element and uh, 
at a run time and not at not at the initialization time but at a run time so what is the second way the second way is to use an insert method so let's see how we can insert a new new pair or a new key and value pair okay so let's begin so here student grades dot insert and then in insert again we have to use uh, we have to insert a pair okay so one way is to just use this okay and we just add a pair say x y z and the grade is say six okay and so we inserted it and now we iterate over it here so if I run it so now you can see the 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 XYZ that I added okay I added it in the last but it's it, while iterating it's uh, it's you are getting at a second uh, at, at a second uh, iteration that's that's why it's unordered it means the, there is no ordering is all the hash values what's the hash value that's been computed out of the key and on which index or which bucket it would go so that's all depends upon hash values and it's unordered okay so now second way is to make pair you can do it like this also std make pair and you are making pair of string and int okay and you just have passed this into a constructor here so here is x y z and comma six so now if you compile it again and now you can run it so same way so either you can use this make pair and the constructor here so you can just also pass insert an element like this but now there are two cases here that the element that you are passing is is already existing i mean the key is already existing the name already exists in in the in, in an ordered map okay so the key has to be unique okay so that we need to check so again the insert returns a pair of an iterate of a, an iterator and a, the iterator and a boolean type the boolean type tells you whether the insertion is successful or not so why when the insertion will be successful when the key you are inserting is unique okay so let's see so let's take an uh, result type and the result type will be say std pair and here you are having the iterator and here you are having a boolean result which gives you whether the element is inserted or not okay so here it goes our result okay so now the iterator so the iterator what kind of iterator it is it is the iterator that's the type is this okay so here we can replace it by like this okay and then equals to student equals to this so the insert the result of inserting a new element here okay so so this iterator is the the this is quite becoming quite long so what we can do is we can make a short type using type def iterator and say student iterator like this we define a new, new type or a short name and we can replace it with this so it becomes a far better okay and now we can just use this okay and so now we can check it whether the insertion is successful or not so we can just check if result dot second okay so now if it's true that means insertion successful uh, you can write it 
uh, insert success okay and uh, else insert failed so now we can just say whether our, our insertion will be successful or not so what we are getting we are insertion is giving us this pair which is a result which is a pair and I am just getting the second value of the, the second uh, field of the pair so second field gives me the boolean value whether the insertion is successful or not so insertion will always be insert will always return uh, insert will always be successful when the key you are passing is a unique okay so let's run it and see so let's run so here you can see that the insertion is successful and here okay so here what is happening basically so okay so let me come let me save it and let me compile it again so yeah so you get now insert success here insert success why because the key is unique the key is not already present the foo bar and abc and the xyz was not present so when you are inserting a new element with a unique key which is not already there then the insert is successful here okay but now what happens if you try to enter a, a key and value pair with the key already existing for example you are inserting this foo then if you're inserting foo and the foo is already existing then the insert would be unsuccessful and the result the pair will be returned whose second field would be false and so you will come to know that the key already exists and so my insert failed so let me come save it and let me compile and so you see here insert failed that's why because the key already exists in my unordered map that's why it's failed so that's a way to insert a key and value pair and check the result whether the insertion is successful or not now there is a method find which tells you that whether the key value pair with that key exists in an ordered map or not you can find it so what you pass in a find method is a key and if it returns a valid iterator that means the value exists and if it returns not a valid iterator or a iterator which is equal to an end so that means the value key and value pair with that key does not exist okay so we can use that technique as well so like we can use the find method so student grades dot find and we want to find a key and value pair with a key say foo and if it returns a valid iterator so if it's a valid iterator that means it would not be equal to student grades dot end okay so this is not a valid iterator and uh, if it find finds an element with a key foo it will return a valid iterator okay and so that would not be equal to this so we can say that key value pair with key with key foo exists okay else that means if if it's if it's uh, if it's not a valid iterator that means if it's an invalid iterator if it's equal to an iterator written by end method here so that means key and value pair with key does not exist okay so let me compile and see So now you can see key and value pair with key foo 
exist okay and that's why when i'm uh, also i should not if it's exist then i should not insert as well because the insert is gonna fail as well okay so let's let's let me delete this foo here from now from the initializer list and then see so now let me compile it um roll it again so now you see key value pair with key foo does not exist because it returns an iterator which is equal to an iterator written by the end method of an ordered map okay and so that's why we see the insert is also success okay so the boolean value of the returned pair is true here and the insert is success here and so that's the way we can find out now you can see that when we are inserting it it's uh it's it's giving us the abc and the and the bar here it's it's skipping the uh the element that we just inserted okay so we have to make sure that when we are doing it we are after inserting we are taking the we are or you can say you in you are initializing this after the insertion happens so if i place it here and then i compile and run now you can see the foo has or is now also there and the rest of the key and value pairs abc and bar so i hope you enjoyed this video and learned about an ordered map thank you so much i'll see you again